Hey, you. Finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's these Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovngarde awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Dabella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Who are they, Daddy? Where are they going? We need to go inside, little girl. Why? I want to watch the soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Whoa! Yes, Papa. Get these prisoners out of the carts. Move it! Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We weren't with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Greylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! You're not gonna kill me! Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you?
You with one of the trade caravans, Khajiit? Your kind always seems to find trouble. Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your men are turned to elsewhere. Follow the Captain, prisoner. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon For you. the love of Talos, shut up and let's Earth get this over. Learn our... As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning! My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the cat! Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? It's in the fire. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. We need to move, now! Up through the tower. Let's go! We just need to... you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. Gods guide you, Hadvar. Stay close to the wall! General Tolias! <laughs> Quickly, follow me! Prisoner, stay close! Yeah! 
this time. Fine. I hope that dragon takes you all to Sovereign Guard. You, come on! Into the keep. He's still coming. With me, prisoner. Let's go. Quick! I can cut you loose inside the keep. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Is that really a dragon? The bring us of the end times? We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find... these bones. You better get that armor on. Give that sword a few swings, too. Let's keep moving. That thing is still out there. If you want to die, so See if I can get them. Or open. out of Helgen, now! Is someone there? Freedom or Sovereign Guard! No more! <laughs> An old storeroom. See if you can find some potions. Might come in handy. Done then, this way. The torture room. Gods, I wish we didn't need these. 
Hear that? Come on. You fellows happened along just in time. These boys seemed a bit upset at how I've been entertaining their comrades. Don't you even know what's going on? A dragon is attacking Helge. A dragon. Please, don't make up nonsense. Although, come to think of it, I did hear some odd noises coming from over there. Come with us. We need to get out of here. You have no authority over me, boy. Didn't you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. Forget the old man. I'll come with you. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Don't bother with that. Lost the key ages ago. Poor fellow screamed for weeks. Sure, take all my things. Grab what you can and let's go. Where in Oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Just give me a minute. Let me think. Stormclaws! Don't be traitor! Uh. Uh. Victory is yours! Uh. See if we can find a way out. Well, 
hoping that didn't come down on top of us. We'd better push on. I'm sure the others will find another way out. Doesn't go anywhere. I guess we'd better try this way. Let's stick together down here. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her? I'd rather not tangle with her. This looks like the way out. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever make it. Wait! Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today.
I've been hunting and fishing in the... It's not like my poaching is... Take a look. See you. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Hadvar? How do you know him? I'd be glad to help a friend of Hadvar. But you didn't answer my question. How do you know him? What? A dragon? In Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. A dragon. Here in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need, within reason. Jarl Balgraf, he rules Whiterun Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Good day. Take what you need, my friend. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. 
Good day. Hello. Hadvar. Oh, thank Talos. Your friend told me about Helgen. Come on inside. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell us what happened. May the gods watch over your battles, Fred. This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. Feindall thinks he can move Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mu- I keep telling you. Sigrid, we have company. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy. Helgen was destroyed? How did you get away? I don't know where to start. You know I was assigned to General Tullius' escort. We were stopped in Helgen, when we were attacked, by a dragon. When your friend told me, I didn't believe it at first either. Mara's mercy? A dragon? In Helgen? Why, it could be here at any moment! I'm sure Riverwood will be alright, dear. When the Yara learns what's happened, he's sure to send soldiers. Go on, Hadvar. Let's hear the rest of it. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to Solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Good Hadvar, day. did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Hush, well, child. Don't, don't pester your cousin. Work. You two make yourselves at home. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Take what you need, my friend. Within re huh. 
I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Mm-hmm. Whatever you need. Buy Ismir if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Hi. You looking for a new blade? You have talent. Keep working at your craft, and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? Aye. You look strong. Come to your basker. And you handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, sister. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. <laughs> we are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in your Vaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. I'm here to help. Got the fleetest steeds in all the Skyrim.
Halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Riverwood's in danger too? You better go on in. You'll find the Jarl in Dragon's Reach, at the top of the hill. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Grey Mane or Battleborn? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Grey Mane or Battleborn? New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Grey Manes turned their backs on the Empire. And we Battleborn stayed loyal. So I'll ask again, Grey Mane or Battleborn? Sooner or later, we all have to choose a side. Long live the Empire. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that thieves' den. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. Brigands, I can handle. But this talk of dragons? Words to reclaim man. some rusty old sword? I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. If you find that sword, please. Sapir! Wait, I... Wait, I... If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quick. Getting tired of hanging around talking all day. I work with my mother. She sells fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days.
You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Who's there? Rodolphe? That you? Boss was looking for you, said he'd be up at the summit. Better not keep him waiting. Even if he is Hashmar's uncle, time we dealt with both of them. We strike tonight at dusk. Be ready. Did you hear something?
think it'd work? Of course not. Dogs I could train. But a half-starved wolf? Not a chance. Right. Lucky if it doesn't rip our throats out. What was that? What was that? Not impressed. Ah, like the bite of a flea.
You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. You found it! I've been looking for that blade for months! You took on all those bandits yourself? Thank you. Here, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you, in honor of his memory. Right then. Are you looking? Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Sure, whatever. Stay out of trouble, Khajiit. From what would you have knew then? Well, not that there's no telling what it. My lord, please. This is no time for rash action. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving just... visitors. Who's this then? Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? By Ismir, Irileth was right! What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? My lord. We should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that Your dragon is lurking in the mountains... That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons.
Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Ah, no mere brute mercenary but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone, said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. An old tomb, built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. I'm not surprised you've never heard of it. Even I used to think it was just a myth. But not anymore. The Dragon War was a real event, although only the barest glimmer of the actual events has come down to us. Far back in the mythic era, the dragons were worshipped as gods in Skyrim. Many of the monumental ruins that still dot the landscape were in fact built as temples to the dragons. The details are lost, but at some point the Nords rebelled. After a long and terrible war, the Nords overthrew their dragon overlords. Oh no. Many were killed, of course, but many survived into historical times. Why, this very palace was built by one of Balgruf's ancestors to hold a captive dragon. Hence its name, Dragon's Reach. Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf one I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. Off this is a priority now. You, Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Balgruf. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure she will prove most useful. Succeed at this. And you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Fair coin for a poor old beggar. Need supplies? See Bellathor at his store. Sleazy little man, but he has good stock.
Do you get to the Cloud District? Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored. Everything's for sale, my friend. Take a look. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Do come back. Foolish old woman. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son, hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? Today, so don't the talk to me about the suffering. The about Your son chose Maybe his side and he time. chose poorly, and destiny. now he's gone. Hmm? Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. Crystal's crying. I will never accept his death. Maybe my son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborn, where is he? Where are you holding my Thorald? <laughs> Do you believe this old hag? Holding him? Why, fish and I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, Cal. Your stupid you son is dead. Back. He died a storm-club traitor. And you, you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, Father. There's nothing more to be said here. All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. I just... I just know it. I can feel it in my heart. You have to believe me. Please visit me at my home. I can tell you the whole story. Do you have anything even remotely fresh? I can assure you it's all fresh. I hunt the game myself every day. Hmm. As you say. Ripe fruit and fresh vegetables for sale. Come to chat with me. With any of those strange elder spices. No. Be glad you're here in the city and not out in Riverwood. Those bastards don't even have a wall.
welcome to our home. Mother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? Avrostein, put that down. She's here to help us find Thorold. How do we know she's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, Mother. Can I help you? Please, anything you can do to help me find my Thorold? Thorold's disappearance has been hard on all of us, but Arlstein has taken it badly. He's afraid of being taken as well, so he hasn't left the house. All he talks about is Thorold. Please help Alverstein if you can. Something has to be done, or we're all going to lose our minds. You so, take care you're of here to help? Now. I know that Thorald's not dead, I just know it. The Imperials have him and are keeping him somewhere, but I don't know where. Those damned Battleborns, they know something. They're hiding it. They practically taunt us with it. They must have some sort of proof. There's gotta be something in that house of theirs. I just know it. I don't dare leave the house myself, so I need your help. Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. The Battleborns. The Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thorald didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thorald supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be in here. This is the last time I'll say it. Get out. Stay out of trouble, Khajiit. I... Did you know there are some fruits that actually grow better? Than... steak or a tender rack of ribs. Ripe fruit and fresh vegetables Are you still for working sale? at the Bannered Mare in the evening, Zolfina? And why shouldn't I? Just because I'm a Grey Mane doesn't mean I can't earn my own keep. You know what's wrong. I mean, well met, Traveler. What brings you to Whiterun? Truly? Huh. By sure, this city could use more like you. Best head up to Dragon's Reach then, and see the Jarl. He's Lord of Whiterun, and can set you on the path. Aye, that I do. Half all my life. We Battleborns have been here since the beginning, along with the Greymanes. 
Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They are saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there, that's a real problem. Oh, come on. Leave it alone. He's gone. There's no use in talking about it anymore. I wish everyone could just get past that and get on with their lives. Ain't sure if they're taking on new members. But you should talk to the companions. They're over in their hall. Your basker. If by work, you mean testing your steel in bloody battle. Ah, <laughs> the most important question of all, that one. You'll want the bannered mare. See old Hulda, she'll keep you swimming in mead. But mind the bard, Mikael. Ponzi little milk drinker, that one. Ah, man gives bards a bad name. We Nords have a long history as warrior poets. I am proud to count myself among them. But Mikael, he sings only for gold and the affections of wenches. He dishonors our traditions. May your sword be sharp and your tongue sharper. That's what I thought. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. The security in Whiterun is terrible. Shape. The guards in this city are all lazy and undisciplined. Things need to change. If it's work you're looking for? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hung? Now please, no more questions. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some meat. I work for Bellathor. Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got something to send you back to Riverwood. Yes, house. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. I can't afford to send anyone else, and we don't know where the dragon is. Your oh, main job years. will be to keep an eye out but I and earn get the people my way to, to safety if the town is I attacked. I own Shilferow Farm, you see. I don't expect the three Very of you to fight off a dragon by yourselves, but I do expect you to do your duty. Of course. We'll keep Riverwood safe. You can count on it. Let's move out. Time's a wasting. I actually advise the Alfred, political matters. Patron of the great clan Battleborn. My this name I'm sure you know me. well. Battleborn is a name out of legend, sung in the songs of old and heard in deeds of valor for a hundred generations. For clan Battleborn they cry in the mead halls, first into the fray and last to quit their ale. We've got honor. Wealth and titles, too. Aye, and buxom women to warm your bed on a cold Skyrim night. Now, if that don't answer your question, then no words will. Money, you laggard. What else? It always comes down to coin. The Grey Manes have deep roots in Whiterun, but so do we. Difference is, we're rich. <laughs> And Vignar hates it. Oh, and they hate it too. All their big talk of pride and honor. And what have they got to show for it? Beggars' rags and stale bread. We've got the same pride, the same honor, and we've got wealth. No wonder they envy us. What's there to say? You go against the Empire, you wind up dead. Thorald got what was coming to him. Best not to ask too many questions about it. 
people might get the wrong idea about you. Uncivilized pelt-wearing axe-draggers. It's a wonder they don't still live in a cave like those ancestors they keep boasting about. It's true, the Vignar Greymane and his lot are one of Whiterun's oldest and... Depending on who you ask, most respected clans. I don't dispute that. But it's one thing to take pride in your lineage, and another to cling blindly to the past. What they call honor and tradition, I call ignorance. You watch yourself out there. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. Avelstein Greymane and I were best friends as children. If I see that traitor again, I'll throw him in jail myself. The cold, frightening truth is that he fought on the wrong side, and he paid for it. That's all I have to say. Long live the Empire. He fought on the wrong side, and he paid for it. That's all I have to say. The Stormcloaks are... Haven't you heard it by now? Do you have news? I knew it. Let me see, please. The Thalmor. By the Nine. It's worse than I thought. So, North Watch Keep. Then we know where to hit him. I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? Thorald can't be left to those... monsters. What? You, alone, reasoning with the Thalmor? That's madness, friend. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it, I will. Divine. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Need supplies? See Bellathor at his store. But he has good stuff. They say Ulfric Storm go.
tools, wares, and weapons. All for sale at fair prices. The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. An astute question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away, but for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. May your road lead you to war. Yes, of course, you are right. Still, I would give much for even the roads a few of Skyrim. Of moon sugar. Hmm? It is a strange sight. The white of wind blows, but they'll never see you coming. I hope that you will come to do business. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. If you've never been to Ripton, be sure to visit the Black Briar Meadery. A few mugs of that and you'll forget all. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? Don't want in, huh? Fine. Have a good... Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. The gate's unlocked. Take my advice. You can head inside Don't when you're ready. Don't listen to that talk of the face sculptor down in the ragged flag. I had another run-in with the Thieves' Guild. Be careful, Mule. The Thieves' Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. One snap of her fingers and you could end up in Riften Jail. Or worse. They represent the reason I'm here. I can't just ignore them, Eren. I know. I just don't want you to leave. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Don't say something you'll regret. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some loudmouth trying to meddle in their affairs. The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves Guild watching their back, so keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy, but it'll cost you. Suit yourself. I'll be at the docks if you change your mind. You aren't worth my time. Piss off.
I'm really getting tired of your excuses. When you borrowed the money, you said you'd pay it back on time and for double the usual fee. I know I did, but how was I to know the shipment would get robbed? Next time, keep your plans quieter, and nothing would have happened to it. What? Are you telling me you robbed it? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Look, Shadra, last warning. Pay up or else. All I care about is the gold. Everything else is your problem. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Huh? What do you want? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. You will? Oh, thank you. Be careful with Sapphire. She mixes with all sorts of nasty people. I don't know, Trough. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Why are you always acting like such a big baby? I've gotten us this far. This far? Living in a sewer. You said we'd have a house as big as the Blackbriars by now. You worry about bashing people's heads in. I'll worry about the guild, okay? Okay, okay. I'm going to check the entrance to the Ratway. Be right back. You can't ah, hide from me. me. I'll win this. You're no match for me. I'm going to crush you I... like a bug. Make this quick. <gasps> yeah, you're no match for me. You're making me angry. <gasps>
Stay out of trouble. Last person who made trouble for Veckel ended up with a smashed head. They call me Dirge because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Why? You think it's funny or something? Good. Now shut up and get out of my face. Already did. What? You still think it's funny? You'd better have coin to pay for your drinks. Sure. How about you mind your own business about it? And I won't have to get dirged to toss you into the cistern. Oh, a bit of this, and a bit of that. Good day. Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. Yes. I once practiced my art in the salons and manners of Tamriel's great and good. Now the scum of Skyrim are my only clients. But no matter, the greatest artists are never recognized in their own time. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? Indeed, it is no small thing to submit yourself to the flesh sculptor's knife. All right, then. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. But 
Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. I have no business with you. You'd better have coin to pay for your. I'm listening. There's no hand Stick with here. me, and he'll never even know you're there. Yeah. Last person who made trouble for Veckel ended up with a smashed head. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? You're a stranger here. Running a little not? light in the pockets, lass. Your pockets. They're a little low on coin. I can tell. It's all about sizing up your mark, lass. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lass. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strongbox under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Every... Every... One, gather round. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. Come on, Brynjolf. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This. It's a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the wisp essence, and it turned out to be crushed nerve root mixed with water. Well... It was a simple misunderstanding, but this... Tim... Real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you... Falma Blood Elixir. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the Snow Elves? The one and only. Mystical beings who live in legends and were masters of great magic. Imagine the power that... coursed through their veins. Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy.
what? Hmm? Waste of time. My husband Bercy will be. Looks the like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go, your payment, just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Yeah, my organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. All right then, let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. You in town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. What is it with you and all these questions? Very well, ask away. Yeah, what's your problem? I knew that stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. Oh, right then. I look, this is really sim. All right, all right. I guess I made enough from his shipment. No need to waste any more time threatening a stable hand. Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. I hope we bump into each other again. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Ah, well. I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Ah, you're a smart woman. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, I'll meet you outside of town. No idea. But whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. I'll meet you outside of town. You're a stranger here too, huh? I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. What in the name of Oblivion do you want? Of course. Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves' Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. Out of my way. If your allegiance lies with the Empire, we haven't much to discuss. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the... Mule the Lioness used to adventure across Skyrim before she settled down in Riften. I hear it all ended when she lost her enchanted blade. The city guard has been tearing Riften apart, looking for the source of our skooma problem. I'd hate to be in their shoes if they get discovered. Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. If it's true that the dragons have returned, what will it mean for all of us? Is this how it all ends? Welcome to the Bee and Barb, lady. Three, in fact. They're my own recipe. Brought them over here from my days as a bartender in Gideon. First is the Velvet Lachance, which is a mixture of blackberry, Honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, I assure you. Second, we have the White Gold Tower, which is heavy cream with a layer of blended mead, 
lavender, and dragon's tongue on top. Last and only for the bravest of souls, we have the Cliff Racer, which is firebrand wine, cyrodylic brandy, flynn, and sujama. I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago, been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Blackmarsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. Every Argonian wedding proposal band is supposed to have three flawless amethysts as part of their design. Two of the gems, the ones on the outside, represent the couple to be married. One for the husband, one for the wife. The amethyst in the center represents the hist, the entity that all Argonians consider a sacred part of our lives. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. My food. The best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as it. It was collected. I've never seen Miol this upset about anything. The city really gets to her. Miol told me that it isn't this bad everywhere. Maybe one. Any luck with Sapphire? By the eight? You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. Until next time. Need something? Yes? Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelka. Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance?
it up, Rinyo. Those days are over. I'm telling you, this one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, Vex, Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lass. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. They're... well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. I'll be here when you're done. I'm not here to hold your hand. Figure this one out for yourself. Veckel and me, we have a thing going. You don't impress me, so don't even try. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. Jewelry here. Vegetables as crisp as a winter's morning. What do you want? With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin. No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket.
Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. You. You have my statue. What are you going to do with it? Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. Look, I got the message. What else did you want? There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic. It's very secretive, though, and you know how people hate secrets. The Jarl's Court Wizard was taught there. That one's full of secrets. Of course not. You expect me to take care of it by myself? My niece Vanna helps me with the chores. She'd be more help if she kept her head out of the clouds. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits and she was dropped in my lap. This heap of matchsticks is what everyone calls Helga's bunkhouse. Can you stay here? No. The bunkhouse is for the working man, not some sort of luxury inn for tourists. Just leave me in peace. My husband, Bercy, will be the death of me. Oh, he spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. Oh no. You're the one from Brynjolf's outfit, aren't you? Oh, there's no need for that. I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look, I even have the payment I owed. <laughs> here. Take it. I'm busy. Don't you have something to do? So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately. But it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what. You keep making us coin. And I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. After you talk to Brynjolf and Mercer, come back and see me. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me.
If you're wondering why they call me for the fleet, watch me outrun the town guard sometime. I've seen a lot of thieves come and go, but I've never seen anyone as good as me. I could crack the lock on any house blindfolded. You got your hands out of here. Name's Rune. Yeah, Rune. Just like your thinking. Been in the guild a long time. Joined right after. Have no idea what my birth name really is, and frankly, I don't care. Being brought up by a poor family, I had to learn how to yeah. steal if I wanted. The wine in Skyrim tastes like urine compared to the fine vintages we had in Vattenwood. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So, let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer. No, Aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. 
Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the Fourth Era in prison. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Let's talk for a moment. Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. This is a business. Look, you want to know about me? All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about the time I was a young girl, barely out of her teens, living on a pig farm in the middle of nowhere. Didn't have a coin to spend between our entire family. Ate the same slop we fed our livestock. Oh wait, it gets much better. How about the fact that our farm was attacked by bandits, and that they killed my entire family who didn't even brandish a weapon against them? Here's the best part. They took me as a prize and violated me for a fortnight. Toss me from bandit to bandit like... like... It's fine. I had to tell someone, I suppose. Carrying around a weight like that, it hurts after a while. Cuts you inside like a dagger to the heart. Over time, I managed to gain their confidence. Then one night I grabbed a knife, waited until they fell asleep, and cut their throats. I never returned to that pig farm, you know. There's nothing for me there. So that's my sad story. What do you think? Maybe one day. Just not today. Maybe I'll see you around the guild. Look, if I was a little harsh before, I just want you to know it's because you were new. Know what I mean? Look, I don't really... Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. This is a business. Hey, let's talk a second. I wouldn't bother smacking at those hives with a Maybe weapon. Maybe I'll see you around the guild. Set them on fire, and they'll go up like kindling. You're making waves around here. I like that. Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you, but it'll cost you. Need any more pickpocket training? You just let me know. Come here a second. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Me included. Just wanted to let you know. The honey they collect on that hunk of rock goes into making Blackbriar mead. Just about the best tasting mead in all of Skyrim. If talking your way out of trouble isn't enough, you could always pick up some training from Delvin, Vex, or Vipper. Also, I recommend hitting the training room if you need lockpick practice. Helped me out of a jam more than once. If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab me. All eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. So you're the new recruit, huh? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. 
I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. I give special rates to members of the Thieves' Guild. Show me what you've got. Now, if you'll excuse me. Even. If you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. 
He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. When a client needs us to eliminate another, we don't operate like the Dark Brotherhood. We find alternate means to get them out of the way. We send you to plant some phony evidence in the Mark's house and then tip off the town guard. The rest takes care of itself. Sound like you can handle it? Look, I don't like wasting my time. Come back when you decide to get serious. Ready for some work or... Okay, what'll it be? One of the quickest ways to make some coin in Skyrim is to clear out some of the wealthier homes of their valuables. If you're interested, I could point out a good place that... What do you say? Good. Just remember the order. Do job first, get drunk second. Now take this and go. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. Bring your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss-drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. I handle the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If break-ins are more your thing, go talk to Vex. Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Your job will be to change the numbers in those books so the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. Feel like doing a bit of writing? Finally, someone with backbone. Here you go. Even if you're all eyes are on you, us. better not make trouble. Don't Back with good news, I trust? Good luck. Oh, uh, something troubling you? Uh, watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are in Goff Hire to train killers. Just ask our poor little Vex. No killing or.
Oh, you're back. Back with good news, I trust? And with no strings attached. Not bad. Here, got some coin for you. Got plenty. Take your pick. The Mark must have ticked off our client badly. He's impatient and keeps asking if the job's done. Can you get him on? Fine, just keep it clean. Here you go. All eyes are on you, lass. Don't disappoint us. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thief's Guild. Or so they'd have you believe. It's all lies. They're just thugs, vermin, creeping around the Ratway. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. Sure, and I'm Queen Baron Zaya. Now tell me enough. Sure, that'll do just fine. Go on ahead. I'll take my leave then. Let me out of here, damn it. I'm not a criminal. <laughs> well, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Have you come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. Well, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. You see, I don't really outright own Frost. That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what. Steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. Nice try, but my mother's already got me in jail. Then I think we're done talking. Ah, finally. Someone besides the stupid guards to talk to. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King, with his voice, shouted him apart. Who did this to me? This is unfair. I'm innocent. Brynjolf sent you to rub it in? I got into a scrap a few years ago at the Ragged Flagon. Some idiot who stole himself a guard's sword and kept boasting about it. 
He's making too much racket, and I'm trying to get Vex drunk, so I tell him to keep it down, and he just runs me through. Yeah, I was lucky, though. After Vex tore the guy to pieces, she gave me a potion. If she hadn't have been there... Uh... Anyway, after I got back to the guild, I decided to start calling myself Twice Killed. Yeah, but Twice Killed has more of a ring to it. Because Big Bad Brynjolf doesn't like the way I play Thief. Look, he says we needed coin, so I got coin. Who cares if people got hurt? Blood washes off septums. Now I'm sitting in here counting skeever droppings while he's drinking Blackbriar mead with Maven. Hey, if you're in good with Maven, you've pretty much got it made. She's got friends in high places, and I don't just mean in Skyrim. So getting the guards to throw me in here as a punishment was about as easy as falling off a log. You didn't need to leave so soon. If it's a bed you need, talk to Kirava in the BM Ball. She'll set you right. Need a drink? You go to the BM Bard. Stay out of the ragged flag. Stay out. My food is the best in all of Skyrim. Always as fresh as the day it was collected. I'll show you what a real orc can do. That brat ain't mine. Could be anyone's. Won't get one rusty septum from me. Should have hey! known she was lying. Said she'd wait. You picked a bad guy <coughs> <target> at <lost>. last. <coughs>
Close enough. Close enough. Some school. You retire someday. Get myself an island. I'll never do another span in that stinking jail. Rather die than give myself up. Kill him. Kill him. To get my beer every now and then. Get him while he's hardly getting disarmed. Poison his meat. See how he likes that. He told him just to hand over the trees. But what was he thinking? Mars. Never so we always have to fight like back. I'm supposed to figure out which college he meant. Now that's the real art. No rough stuff. Just take it and go. Don't sound like much fun, though. Said she'd wait for me, but never wait. Huh? Did you hear something? I was sure I heard something. Wish I could turn wood to gold. Never enough gold. With three Just need bears one down, good haul. The orc did frown and bid the elf goodbye. For none could know it was not for show. And someone had to die. Retire someday. <laughs> Get myself an island. That again, get him while he's sleeping. A oh, poison. Huh? Is someone there? Hello? 
out? Who's there? What was that? Need me some schooler. The imported stuff. Just Should've one known last she was time. mine. She said she'd wait for me. Ah, but they never wait. Once was a woman as fair as an eagle of springtime in Ostro's Mackay. Go to the college, Dad said. No, that's Use your smarts. Bet they got that secret like I'm supposed to figure out which wood college wood. he meant. Yeah. Wish I could turn wood tires someday. Get myself an island. Down the orc did frown Need me some and bit. This is a surprise.
Somebody help! I see you, but I don't see Frost. Come back when you have a horse with you. Ha! You've done it! Got to admit, I wasn't sure you could pull it. Let's make the exchange. And telling her what? That you stole her horse? I don't think so. Yes, yes, here it is. I think I'd best be off now. What do you need? When the Empire surrendered to the Old Mary Dominion, they shamed us all. I've got a hungry daughter to feed, so selling my produce is really the only thing I care about. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the... This if it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the... I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree, all burnt up, in the middle of the Wind District? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. The Companions? In Jorvasker? They're recruiting new members, from what I hear. Magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Wanna hear a little Nord wisdom? You don't really know a woman till you've had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Think you can go blade a blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. And why not? I could beat anyone in this city, barehanded. A hundred gold says I knock your hide to the ground. Just fists. No weapons, no magic, no crying. Let's go. Come on. Never should have come here. Fight! Help! Please, No! Back to the ground. Come yeah. on. Now that's what I call a punch. You got me. Drive that snow back to the ground. Come on. You're no liar. Best fight I've had in years. There you are. What can I do for you? Need something? Yes. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of it. There's a whole college up in solitude where they teach the arts. Song, lute playing, poetry. I studied there myself. Had to leave over a 
misunderstanding with a headmistress. Well, more a misunderstanding with her husband. It's the leaving that's hardest, I know. This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. The Ragnar security the in Whiterun is terrible. Oh, Shameful. There once was a case. hero named Ragnar the Red who came right. There's a rift here in Skyrim and can't neither. Evgir Onslaught has come at last. The season unending. War. I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most of it. You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. Because the so-called Emperor is a coward. That's right! I said coward! Oh, yes. He agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordat. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. <laughs> let them come. I have no fear, for Talos is my ally, and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips. His voice in my throat. Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice, and with it he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life, when he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. Talos the Mighty! Talos the Unerring! Talos the Unassailable! To you we give praise! And deserve our praise, you do! For we are one! Ere you ascended, and the eight became nine, you walked among us straight down, not as God, but as man! But you were once man, I, and as man, you said, let me show you the power of Talos, Lord Brown, born of the north, where man
north, where my bread is long winter. If you're heading east, steer clear of Hilgus too. Think about those. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. Thank you. The pain is already easing. Welcome, child. The Gildergreen, yes. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me. But not many of them around anymore. To the east of here is a hidden grove where the Elder Gleam resides. It's the oldest living thing in Skyrim, maybe all of Tamriel. Our tree here in the city was grown from a cutting of that tree. You can still feel the glory of the mother tree through it. Even its name is an echo. I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die, they only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. Elder Gleam is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. You'll have to deal with the Hagravens. I've heard about a weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. God bless you, healer. What do you want, cat? Looking for my husband, Nazim? Check the Jarl's backside. That's usually where he stuffs himself these days.
You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. I'll have your head. Make a fine rug. Uh. Smear, you won't leave here alive. What was that? I know I heard something. Must be my imagination. There's someone there. Huh? Over here!
Someone coming. Is that you, Hartnir? Bjorn, Salim. I know I ran ahead with the fall, but I need help. <coughs> no. Again, help! <coughs> Get it away from me! Get it away! <coughs> You did it, you killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. Help me out of here. <coughs> it's coming loose. I can <coughs> feel it. Why should I share the treasure with anyone?
They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. <laughs> You look tired, friend. The Bannered Mare has beds for rent. You see? The terminology is clearly First Era or even earlier. I'm convinced this is a copy of a much older text. Perhaps dating to just after the Dragon War. If so, I could use this to cross-reference the names with other later texts. Good. I'm glad you're making progress. My employers are anxious to have some tangible answers. Oh, have no fear. The Jarl himself has finally taken an interest, so I'm now able to devote most of my time to this research. Time is running, Farngar, don't forget. This isn't some theoretical question. Dragons have come back. Yes, yes, don't worry. Although the chance to see a living dragon up close would be tremendously valuable. Now, you have let me show you something else I found. Very intriguing. I think your employers may be interested as well. Hmm? Ah, yes, the Jarl's protege, back from Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> you didn't die, it seems. Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brute the Jarl sends my way. That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind, sadly undervalued in Skyrim. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Wait, Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you decide it. Barangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? W what was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. We've got nothing to talk about. Let's go. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Oh. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irleth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the Dragonstone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. <clears throat> As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the fight to the storm cloaks. I've seen you helping the yard. If only all visitors to White Run were as noble.
situation. A dragon is attacking the Western Watchtower. A wow. dragon? We're in for it. You heard right. I said a dragon. I don't much care where it came from or who sent it. What I do know is that it's made the mistake of attacking Whiterun. But Housecarl, how could we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourselves Nords if you ran from this monster? The gods in Dragonreach say you've aided the Yarl on behalf of White. We're so dead. But it's more than our honor at stake here. Think of it. The first dragon seen in at? Skyrim I'm since not the last age. You no. Know, even if you are my elder. The glory of killing it is ours. I work if with my mother. With me. To sell fruits and vegetables. Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah. Damn yeah. right. Let's move out. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Undercover. The dragon, it's still around somewhere. Kinneret, save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count.
remind me of my cousin. Kill that too. Look at that. What's happening? Everybody, get the That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more. I than can't believe it. You're I don't know Dragonborn. Like Dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Yes, I think I am. You can shout now. That can only mean one thing. You must be Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the Dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the Dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irileth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irileth. Tell us. Do you believe in this Dragonborn business? Hmm. <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. Really are Dragonborn then. Did it? You killed the dragon. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to. We will be back. This is not over. You there? We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. Here, I'd like you to have this as a token of my friendship. 
What do you need? Yes? A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiteron, so we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. If you locate her, you find have us news in of our quarry. Let me know if you want anything. <laughs> Think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. What can I do for you? Are you sure? Oh no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Quickly, come with me. So, are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. I mean it. I'll... I'll cut you in half. So the Alakir know where I am? What did they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. Then I need your help, and there isn't anyone else I can trust here in the city. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almarie Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me, so you'll have to find out where they are. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless. Cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. Find me the moment the Alakir are taken care of. My favorite drinker. I ain't done nothing. I've got a hungry daughter to feed, so selling my produce is really the only thing. The flesh to rule the realm. There's... I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. What are you looking at? Mm-hmm. Till next time. You have a death wish, then? 
If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other? I have dishonored my brothers by being captured, and so they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now, but I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that, and I'll tell you what you want to know. One hundred gold will secure my release. You can afford that, can't you? I suppose you'd better hope you can, if you want the information. Get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Because I was clumsy enough to be captured. Kamatu always says, we're supposed to be the best of the best. I wasn't. All right, then. Staying safe, I hope. Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. You buy my way out of here, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Very well. Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. But that's your problem, not mine. Guard! My fine's been paid, now set me free! What is it, Khajiit? Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. you heard I might summons. just be a servant what among lords, but don't think for a the moment. The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. The Jarl My himself. brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards. Summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? 
High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to... I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. The Jarl is... Splendid! There's a house available right now. The task of steward is more important than you realize. The Jarl often asks for my invaluable counsel. What is it that you need? You need a leave. One of the new servants? Remember that I like my meat rare. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. You need a leave. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Ain't nobody high and mighty and... Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Lead the way. What do you need? It's locked for a reason. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Everything. 
take a look. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. Do come back. I've got your back. I am at your command. Let's get going then.
Should have known she was lying. Said she'd wait for me. They never wait. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Sure, I like these Alakir warriors hiding out here. They seem like trouble. Keep it to yourself. They're not paying us to talk. They'll be gone as soon as they've found whoever they're looking for. And we'll have all the more corn. something. I'm going to put you down! <laughs> Did you hear something? Huh? Is someone there? Over here! This what you want? It's... Huh? Nothing!
Malakir, hold! You've proven your strength, warrior. Let's avoid any more bloodshed. I think you and I have some things to talk about. Stay your hand, warrior. It's no secret why you're here. And you have proven your skill in combat. Let us talk a moment, and no one else needs to die. I think we can all profit from the situation in which we find ourselves. My men will not attack you if you will lower your weapons. She sold the city out to the Aldmeri Dominion. Were it not for her betrayal, Tanith could have held its ground in the war. The other noble houses discovered her betrayal, and she fled. They want her brought back. The resistance against the Dominion is alive and well in Hammerfell, and they want justice. Of course, sent by. What is it that she's calling herself these days? Shazra? Sadia? One of those, correct? Did she appeal to your sense of honor? Your greed? A more base need, perhaps? It doesn't matter. No doubt she's convinced you that she's the victim. But do you know why we pursue her? Assassins? No, nothing so crass. Sadia, as you know her, is wanted by the noble houses of Tanith for treason. We were hired to see her return to Hammerfeld for her crimes. You can help us with that. And make sure no one else gets hurt. She sold the city out to the Aldmeri Dominion. Were it not for her... The other noble houses dis... The resistance against the Dominion is alive and well and... She trusts you, at least to some extent. She sent you after us, and has no reason to think that you'd do anything other than that. Convince her that we'll be coming for her, and she needs to leave. Lead her to the stables outside Whiterun. We'll be waiting to take... I'll gladly share a portion of the bounty in return for your efforts in seeing proper justice done. Good. It will be good to finally be able to return home. inside. Stay out of trouble, Khajiit. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. How do you feel? I've got a hungry daughter to feed. So selling my produce is really the only thing I care about. Any news of the Alakir? What? How? I thought they weren't allowed with... But where will I go? I can't keep running forever. After all, if you really think this is the only way, I trust you. Let's not waste any time. All right, then. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. You're the framing.
Hmm? Farewell. We meet at last, my dear lady. What is this? What have you done? Oh, come now. You didn't really expect to manipulate people forever, did you? Your luck had to run out sometime. Now we'll take our friend here back to Hammerfell, where she will pay the price for her treason. Not on the way back. Once she gets there, it's not up to me to decide what's done with her. And as for you, I owe you a portion of the reward, don't I? Well, here you go. Spend it wisely, and if I may, don't allow yourself to be fooled by a pretty face. You're better than that. Farewell. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. Yeah, what? The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. What are you doing that for? My sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you.
What are you doing that for? What are you doing that for? The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. I'm right behind you. I am at your command. You lead, I'll follow. say something to you. I think you're all right. In fact, I'm kind of impressed how well you're doing around here. Just keep it between us, okay? Pull up a chair, my friend. This is quite a tale. When I started out in this business, I wasn't really interested in the guild or being a thief. I didn't mean to imply I was earning an honest living, either. With my lock-picking aptitude, I was a natural at jailbreaking made a great deal of gold doing it, too. It's where a client pays you to get arrested, and you get thrown into a prison for the express purpose of breaking out. Usually it's to free someone the client cares about, and sometimes to... well, to kill someone on their behalf. Either way, the trick was in the escape, and that's where my strengths came in handy. Well, as a jailbreaker, you work alone. No guild to back you up. I'd do jobs for the Thieves' Guild and the Dark Brotherhood, but if things didn't go as planned, I was on my own. And the last jailbreak I attempted failed. I was imprisoned in High Rock for three years before they let me go. After that, I promised myself I'd never do it again. I don't know. I think I realized that out in the world, my skills would bring me more wealth as a thief rather than an assassin. Killing someone in a jail is much easier than what the Dark Brotherhood deals with. I guess I wanted to play it safe. I already knew Delvin. I asked if I could join up, and that was that. Some other time, perhaps. So, what could I do for you today? Steal anything worth talking about? Amazing what people leave laying around for us to take, isn't it? Walking away without taking a job? It's like passing a bloated coin purse on a table. Want to talk? 
Go ahead.
never should have come here. daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. They call it the path to the monastery to 7,000 steps. Can you imagine? I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Klimek? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. 
Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Be careful up there. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. I like to spend time up here. Walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. They're not the sort to take visitors. But I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. I.
What do you want, Cat? I was just outside Iverstead when it happened. It's an exciting moment. Nothing like this has happened in centuries. Just a pilgrim. I'd prefer to leave it at that, if you don't mind. Walking the steps, meditating on the emblems. I make this trip every few years. All right, then. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Oof! Shout at us. Let us taste of your voice. Strike us with the power of your voice. Poof! Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here?
We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. You learn a new word like a blast. You truly do have the gift. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Well done. Again. You learn quickly. Once more. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. see how you learn a completely new shot. Master Bori will teach you Wood, which means whirlwind. Wood.
You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Approach Master Body and he will gift you his heart. Straight whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori? Vex! Yes. Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Windkoller. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill you. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? If you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh, you will remain true to the way. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, 
not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Sky, guard you. You there! You're the one they call Dragonborn! Your lies fall on deaf ears, Deceiver! The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow! When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness! None shall stand to oppose him! Shall not fall. Mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. It's locked for a Interest on the but on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some well elevated prices. You just let some may call this junk, me, I call them treasures. Are you feeling all right, dear? You look a little ill. Serve our praise, you do, for we are one. Ere you ascended, and the eight became nine, you walked among us straight down.
Cause trouble in White Run, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. The house I mentioned earlier is still available. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. I'll be glad. And of course, now, what would you like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? I'm sorry. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Absurd that you can't cook good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. <laughs> Absurd that you can't cook good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. Be glad you're here in the city, not out in the river. Those poor sods don't even have a wall. I'm right behind you. I'll head back home if you need me. Long life to you, Thane. Until next time. What do you need, my Thane? Long life to you, Thane. Honor to you, my Thane. 